for ETMPV, when we talk about high versus low risk, we're, we're talking about vascular complications, risk of having a blood clot. We're not really talking about <clears throat> risk of transformation. We don't have, I think, wonderful, widely used toolkits to predict those things. We know they can happen, but our treatment is still really based on clotting for ET and PV. And MF, um, you know, each couple of years, the, the tools that are available to assess prognosis become more and more. So in MF, we're using the most comprehensive approach, of course, taking into account, you know, things like age and demographics, but also looking at symptoms, looking at the depth and severity of blood count changes, looking at bone marrow features like the degree of scarring, looking at um, <clears throat> the rise in blast counts, and then looking at chromosomes and novel genetic markers. So we're definitely the most comprehensive in myelofibrosis at assessing prognosis. Mm -hmm.